Hey, did you know you could create an infinite growth flywheel using AI agents and automated messaging in high level? We're going to do this with a combination of one automation and one conversation AI agent along with one voice AI agent to completely automate our outbound and lead nurturing process. This is absolutely awesome because it essentially allows us to use AI to manage our entire sales process as we're marketing to people. So I absolutely love this. Let me show you how it works. We're gonna go through three steps here. First, making a conversation AI agent. Second, making a voice AI agent. And third, making our automation and launching this with our list. We're gonna start with our conversation AI agent and we want to make a booking agent. We are obviously trying to get people to book calls with us. So that is going to be the easiest one that we can do. And we can do this by creating our bot and selecting appointment booking. Then we need to make sure that we have a calendar selected and then we can click save. Now already these agents are fantastic with their default prompt. As long as you put in custom values like your website, your conversation goals and everything like that. As soon as you start using these agents, then they will be able to nurture leads into booking appointments. You can even test your agent on the right hand side, make sure that it's working. And as you can see, just the default appointment booking agent already knows to ask a couple of questions about our business and to qualify our customers. So we know it can handle inbound messages. That's step one. Now let's talk about inbound phone calls. We want to handle those with our voice AI agents. So we can go to voice AI agents on the left hand side in settings, make sure we have one created under agent list. Here we have my own assistant, a couple of pointers. Whenever you're making your voice AI agents, I add in the initial message, things like us and adding in additional syllables in order to make them sound a little bit more human and make a couple of mistakes. Then under our agent goals for our voice AI agent, make sure we're setting this as appointment booking. We can even set up lots of advanced settings under advanced mode but chances are you already have a voice AI agent with this. So all you need to do is make sure that your voice AI is turned on under phone and availability. Make sure you have selected a number from the phone number pool and then enable the agent as a backup to the phone number pool. So that way, if nobody picks up the phone, then it can handle these messages. So if you know what we have set up right now, we have it set up. So if someone texts our number or calls our number, then our AI will handle it. The last part of this is how do we get people to text or call us? Well, we are going to do this with voicemail drops. I love this workflow action because it allows us to drop a voicemail on our customer's phone by calling them really quickly and then hanging up. It allows us to be personal. We can film as many voicemails as we need on our phone that are our own voice. And then when we send them to our customers, we can send them to as many people as we need all automatically. And it's not a premium action or anything. So it's really easy to do this on mass scales with our lists. If we're trying to re-engage some of our customers or get in contact with our customers that were interested about booking appointments or even nurture our leads whenever they've opted in to get our services. This is one of the best use cases that I've used personally because it lets you connect with your customers on a personal level on a mass scale, which is really hard to do nowadays. And you can do this now using a voicemail drop. So let me show you how this works. We are just going to open up a brand new workflow and we're actually going to use a little bit of workflow AI here and tell it to make us a three voicemail drop flow in order to nurture our leads. So we're going to tell workflow AI to make a three voicemail drop flow to nurture them as new leads. And if they respond, then we will take them out of the workflow. So we're going to send this through workflow AI. And the reason we're doing this is because if someone texts us or calls us, then we don't need to drop the additional voicemails. But what we can do is we can take our phone, we can record a few voicemails saying things like, Hey, thanks for opting in. I'm looking forward to talking to you soon. Text or call us back at this number. And you can talk to one of our agents and get booked into our calendar. By doing that, you can film a couple of different voicemails, drop them onto your computer, add them into this workflow, which we're going to create. And then this is going to be a completely automated outbound system. And in the time that we just did that, we now have our workflow created by workflow AI. We have our first voicemail drop. We have wait three days and then we'll drop our second voicemail drop. And then we're going to wait another three days and then drop our third voicemail. So film three voicemails, drop them onto your computer, and then you're going to immediately have an automated outbound system in order to send these to your customers. So this is absolutely awesome. And let me walk you through how this works. We can throw in our voicemail, make sure it's an MP3. If you record it as a voice memo on your phone, it might be an M4A file. So just drop it into a video editor and then export it as just an audio as MP3 in order to make sure it works with this. But once you have it in there, you can see you can play them. So there's my voicemail. We can click save and then we're going to do this for all three of these. So then once this is turned on, all we have to do is either set the trigger as a tag or add customers manually to this workflow. But once we do that, customers will automatically flow through this workflow. And when they get our voicemail, when they try to call us back or text us back, they'll get into contact with our voice or conversation AI agent. So then it can book them a call and get them on our calendar. This means we can contact all of our leads 
very quickly. And I absolutely love this process because it makes our job way easier and you can still communicate with people on a personal level. A couple of tips, make sure you set up your voice AI agents as assistants. Make sure that people know that they're AI. Right now, people can tell if something's AI. It's very rare for there to be an AI voice or conversation AI that people can't tell if it's AI. So typically, if you say that up front or if you let them know, hey, I'm the assistant for you know Andrew, the person that dropped the voicemail, and they know it's not you, then they can be a little bit more understanding when booking into your calendar. Of course, you're gonna have some negative responses, but this is a great way to get in contact with as many people as possible using this voicemail system. So by doing this, you'll have people always coming in. You can throw people into this workflow whenever you need to. It's one of my favorites. As always, if you have any questions about this, drop a comment on the YouTube, check out the rest of the blog, and thank you very much for watching.